Hello Taurus, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see what the ether has for you Taurus. Dear God Angels Universe, please bless Taurus with whatever information they need to know. Oh, sun, yay, happiness, happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, listen, I didn't ask for all of y'all to go hitting the float. It's too many to read. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Temperance. Angels are saying you guys have made a lot of sacrifice for your happiness. Um, this also feels like some sort of rite of passage, like you've come a long way. And it feels like wherever you are, you are not taking that for granted. But also at the same time, you're focused on your happiness, your joy. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are morphing into you know some sort of new lifestyle and you're not taking that for granted i feel like you're waiting on something you're thinking about something something is occupying your mind right now could be some sort of legal uh, situation severance divorce um angels are also saying lawsuit as well Mm, I'm hearing the word vindictive. Somebody was being vindictive. Now, when I see this Eight of Swords and uh, the Ace of Wands, I'm like, did somebody not strap it up? Ooh, child. Did somebody try to accuse you of being a father or a father to their child and tried to take you to court for child support uh, for a child that wasn't yours, Taurus? That's what I feel like. And for some of you guys, you were, uh, you had a vasectomy. Ooh, okay. I don't know whose storyline that is, but we're going to start over. Um, I feel like you had to get rid of somebody for the sake of your own happiness and peace of mind. This person was really toxic. I'm also hearing pessimistic. I'm hearing Debbie Downer, Donald Downer. Um, it was almost like they just carved the sunshine right on out the sky. Like this person couldn't be happy if happiness mugged them, right? Like, oh, this person was so toxic. They feel like an energy vampire where they just suck the life, the happiness and joy out of you, Taurus. Mm-hmm. Um, temperance with the four of pentacles. Yeah. They were also codependent. They were trying to latch on or attach to you. And probably because of your optimism. But I feel like since cutting them off, you blocked them, deleted their number, you know, burnt their pictures. Like, this kind of feels like you even erasing them from your existence. And I hate to say it that way, but especially with the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords here, uh, somebody was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly miserable. Okay, and I'm talking go into Webster's, Merriam Webster's, the Oxford D Dictionary, and next to the word misery was this person's picture. Um, angels are also saying, too, a lot of you guys felt like you were fighting for your survival. Yeah, this person was a very, very heavy, 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 say it one more time, heavy emotional drain on you oh angels are saying there were mental is issues eight of swords i don't feel like this is with you i feel like it was the person that you were dealing with either they grew up incredibly sheltered very narrow-minded very close-minded especially here with the four of pentacles and that did just didn't work for you um with the justice and the three of pentacles this to me is almost like it was almost like you went through an exercise, Taurus, of not really knowing what you what you wanted. And by the time you got done with this person, you was like, oh, hell no. I know what I want now, universe. Right? That's what this is. Because the Three of Pentacles is almost like the birds of a feather flock together. I feel like you are going to start to attract more experiences in your life 
based on now knowing what it is with what you wanted. I kind of felt like you in a in your um, energy before it was almost like, oh, let people show you who they are. You know, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt going forward. It's like, mm -mm. <laughs> you better have the same kind of feathers as I do if you want me to consider you or even acknowledge you. Yeah, I don't blame you. Angels are also saying, too, some of you guys could have had uh, some sort of legal issue with work that I feel like is going to work out in your favor. So I don't know if this is workman's comp, short long-term disability, some sort of lawsuit with um, work, your employer. But I feel like that's coming to a close and that's coming to an end. Not only that, but I'm also hearing that the reason why this situation had to end because it was a toxic environment in the first place that you shouldn't have belonged in. Not only that, but with the Four of Pentacles and the Temperance card, whomever you were dealing with, they weren't trying to pay you out, pay out any money to you, Taurus. I mean, and that's typical, right? Big corporations, they ain't trying to let go of no coins. They trying to get all the coins, but they ain't trying to release no coins. Um, yeah, this is a hard fought, fought struggle too. I also kind of feel like this kind of got in the way of your happiness and joy. But I feel like you're going to have a reason to celebrate soon because you're about to get some sort of settlement awarded to you. So yes, you have several messages coming out, several storylines coming out with this particular reading, Taurus. Um, it just kind of looks like um, the state of mind, state of being, state of financial uh, finances, whatever this old cycle was that you were dealing with and dealing with for a while you are about to be able to, you are about to be freed from it, released from it, and you're about to have an exciting new beginning. I'm also hearing for some of you guys, it feels like within one day of watching this reading, you're going to get this exciting news. It feels like whether it's a new job, new money opportunity, new line of income, your loan was approved, your business license was approved. Um, something is about to clear up and clear away from your path. Whatever this 10 month, 10 year, 10 week struggle has been, it's about to be cleared, cleared out and cleared away. Oh, yay, page of cups. See what I'm saying? I feel like with whatever clearing out you're doing with this old debris and old energy, old baggage, it's almost like, baby, that sun is going to hit your face so different now. It's like this happiness is going to hit different for you, Taurus. It, it kind of almost even feels like you're feeling the, the, the feeling of happiness for the first time. That's what that page of cups represents. Like you're experiencing the, these happiness and joyful experiences for the first time. Oh, that's not good. That 10 of pentacles, like w w the universe is saying to me, we really had to get you out of that old and ex situation very quickly. A lot of you guys were heavily invested. Right. And the universe was like, oh, it's good for you to be invested, Taurus, but not in that one, not in that situation. For a lot of you guys, you took this hard because you were so heavily invested. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Whatever this was for you, it kind of feels like you didn't finish it. Either you don't have any closure or you felt like, well, dang, everything was going good. And then this happened. And then all of a sudden I had to leave universe is like yep that's exactly how we designed it because you shouldn't have been there in the first place look at all these pentacles coming out related to work um you were trying to work through this i feel like you were trying to work out you were trying to figure out how to resolve this universe is like uh-uh you shouldn't have been involved to resolve it is to to get you out of this situation taurus beautiful beautiful I, you know as a human it's incredibly uncomfortable when the universe comes in with this cosmic monkey, monkey wrench and snatch us right out of our comfort zone. But with the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Justice card, this was done in your favor, right? This was absolutely done in your favor. We didn't want your hard work to be in vain is what I'm hearing. Listen to your instincts because you know this new beginning is coming along and it's coming along quick. You got the Three of Pentacles here, Three of Cups here. Taurus, you're going to be popping bottles soon. You're going to have a reason to celebrate and to be happy. Now, for a lot of you guys, I can almost, <laughs> I can almost see you throwing shit at your phone. Like, eh, <laughs> another reader saying the same crap. You know what? In a day or two, a week or so, I'll give it a week. Yeah. Let me know how you really feel. 
right? Because I feel like whatever this is that's coming along is going to knock you over the head. This happiness and joy is going to come in so quick. But also at the same time, we're needing you to wrap this up. Like, let it go. Let go of these burdens. Let go of the idea that you could have done something to cause a different outcome. You couldn't have. It, it was already kind of quote unquote designed by the universe that, you know what? We would let Taurus get so far. And then if Taurus doesn't get it, if Taurus doesn't back out of it, we're going to collapse the whole thing, forcing Taurus out of it and forcing Taurus into their next area of prosperity, their next chapter of prosperity. So Taurus, I understand it's uncomfortable for you guys to come out of your comfort zone, but universally, you're going to be popping bottles soon. The universe is again, being a smart ass. It's like, you know what? Let us know in a week or so if you still feel crappy. Let us know in a week or so if you're still angry with us. <laughs> Look, no need to worry. Confirmation. I was waiting for this. I actually thought the yes card was going to be the first card confirming. Uh-huh. We're, we're working on it. It'll be worked out soon, Taurus. Mm, romance. So for some of you guys, you had to clear away the old raggedy person. <laughs> So a new person can come in. Look, no. And, and again, I feel like that no is that you guys didn't know what was going on. You were just doing your part. You were just, you know, continuing to work at this. This is something that you wanted, something you felt you deserved, something that you also thought was on the up and up. For some of you guys, there was a little deceit, a little taken advantage of, taken, taken for granted. It kind of feels like somebody was trying to play you on the low, low Taurus. You didn't know it. The universe did. And the universe came in on your behalf and says, mm -mm, you ain't doing this to Taurus, not on our watch. Um, I have Leo, Pisces, Libra, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo, uh, Cancer, and Libra. So you have Libra and Cancer here pretty pronounced. Uh, Libra is, the, is karma, the balance of justice, balancing the scales. Cancer is your heart. I feel like, yeah, something, uh, I can't say something. It was the universe out there working on your behalf, working on your your favor and protecting you, Taurus. So again, it could be a feeling, a it could feel a little uncomfortable because you weren't prepared for this shift, but it really, really, really was in your favor. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Love you, Taurus. Bye.